Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about the citrate test. The citrate test is just one of many biochemical tests that can be used to identify bacteria in a laboratory setting. So the way the citrate test works is that some bacteria can use a compound called citrate, which is drawn right here, to, uh, in the absence of any other source of carbon. So that means that even though there's no glucose, no sucrose, no lactose, no other source of carbon uh, for them to use, only citrate, they can actually use that as their carbon source. Of course, carbon is needed to make things like DNA and RNA and proteins and lipids and um, carbohydrates. And so they can use this in the, in the absence of other carbon source, whereas other citrate negative uh, bacteria would not be able to do so. And the reason that they can use citrate um, as their only carbon source is because they produce an enzyme, something like citrase or another one called citrate permease, to transport the citrase into the cell where they can then break it down. So in the citrate test, in order to determine whether or not a specific bacterial isolate has the ability to transport citrate inside and break it down and use it, um, we culture these organisms in the lab on something called Simmons citrate auger. And Simmons citrate auger contains sodium nitrate. Again, that's what's drawn right up here. Um, also, it contains ammonium dihydrogen phosphate. This is an important source of nitrogen. Of course, nitrogen is required to make DNA and RNA, those nitrogenous bases that are in the nucleotides. Um, and also, um, every amino acid has nitrogen in it to make, so every protein has nitrogen in it. And so that's why that nitrogen source is important for the bacteria to be able to grow. There's also some micronutrients in this auger, as well as a pH indicator. And it's this pH indicator that gives us a color change to tell us whether or not a specific isolate is citrate positive or citrate negative. And so organisms that are actually able to utilize this citrate to transport it in, break it down, use it as a carbon source, they will, as they grow and, and replicate, they'll also be breaking down this ammonium dihydrogen phosphate and this gives off a basic product. And so by breaking this down, a basic product is given off. And remember, if we remind ourselves about the pH scale, um, there are acidic pHs, which are one to less than seven, pH seven is neutral, anything above seven is basic. So it's giving off a basic product and this makes the pH indicator change colors. So it changes color from green to blue. And so a blue color is a positive test. That means that this was broken down and this was broken down only because these bacteria can utilize the citrate and grow. So if we look at the method in more detail, the auger is first inoculated, most often by a deep puncture with a straight wire. This just means that you have a tube, the Simmons citrate auger is in there, you take a, a straight metal wire, sterilize it in a flame, um, pick up a colony of the isolate that you want to test, and then just jab it down into the auger on that straight wire, pull the straight wire out, and then incubate at 30 to 37 degrees for about 24 to 48 hours. Um, after this amount of time has passed, you look at the tubes, a negative result, the Simmons citrate auger will remain green. So there was no color change, meaning that the pH did not change um, because that isolate cannot utilize the sodium citrate for, to, to get its carbon. A positive result means a color change to blue. 
And so that is what we would call a, uh, a citrate positive organism. Some examples, sort of clinically relevant examples that are would, would give a positive result include Klebsiella pneumoniae, Citrobacter friundii, and several species of Enterobacter and Salmonella. Um, if you're interested in learning some more about other biochemical tests, I do have a playlist that includes videos for tests like the catalase test and the oxidase test and the coagulase test. So check that out if you're interested. And thanks for watching Biology Professor.